good evening guys in the last class we discussed about string joiner optional for each method and date and time api string joiner class is used to join the strings by using some delimiter and a prefix and a suffix optional class it is used to avoid null pointer exceptions for each method it is used to traverse each element available in the collection and the next one is date and time api changes in the java we have util class which is used to represent a date but the problem with the date is when we create the date object it will represent both date and time if you want to represent only date or only time then we need to write our own logic to avoid those problems in the 1.8 version they introduced date and time apis with the several new classes and new methods got introduced all right so what are those local date class local time class local date time period class and the duration classes got introduced fine today we are going to talk about another important area in the 1.8 which is the most frequently asked interview question that is stream api so today we are starting our discussion related to stream api lot of things we need to understand in the stream and lot of exercises we need to do in the stream perfect so what is the stream stream api introduced in java 8 version stream api introduced in java 1.8 version now streams are used to stream api is used to process the data stream api introduced in java 1.8 version stream api is used to process the data now we have collections collections are used to store the data collections are used to store the data whatever the data that got stored in the collection that data can be processed by using stream api okay stream api is one of the biggest change happened in java 1.8 version stream api is one of the major feature added in java 1.8 version java 1.8 version stream api introduced in 1.8 stream api is used to process the data so stream is not for storing the data guys stream is just to process the data collections are used to store the data stream api is used to process the data stream api is one of the major features added in added in java 1.8 version 1.8 version okay what is a stream a stream can be represented as sequence of elements that performs operations a stream can be defined as a stream in java a stream stream in java can be defined as can be defined as sequence of elements that comes from a source that comes from a source a stream in java can be defined as sequence of elements that comes from a source so when the when the elements are coming from the source stream is going to perform the operations the source for the stream can be array or it can be a collection a stream source can be source can be for a stream source source of data for the stream can be source of data for the stream can be array or collection of elements so when you have a array data array means group of elements right when we have group of elements that group of elements can be processed by using stream when we have a collection object group of objects will be available in the collection collection is a entity when you have a array or when you have a collection that array data 
our collection data we can consider as a source and we can use stream to process the array data and we can use a stream to process that collection data source here refers to a collection or array elements stream will take the array or collection of data and the stream is going to process that okay guys now few important points we need to remember about the streams few important points about the streams few important points about streams good now the first one is the first one is here stream is not a data structure collection is a data structure but whereas stream is not a data structure okay guys so collections are nothing but data structures array list is having one data structure linked list having one data structure hash set having one data structure right linked has set having one data structure but stream is not a data structure stream is just to use it to perform operations stream means bunch of operations stream means bunch of operations applied on source data on a source data source can be a collection or array source can be collection or array so don't think that streams are used to store the data no collections are used to store the data collections are nothing but they are having set of classes every class is having its own data structure stream is not a data structure stream means bunch of operations applied on source data source can be a collection or array source can be anything so when the data is available in the array or when the data is available in the collection stream is going to process that data and stream is going to perform operations on the data now stream will just process the data stream will not change original data structure of the source stream will not change will not change original data structure of the source stream will not change original data structure of the source it will just process it will just process i have a collection of objects i want to do some filters i want to do some mapping operations i want to do some other processing operations stream will just do the processing operations stream is not going to change the original data structure stream is not a data structure stream means bunch of operations applied on source data source can be a collection or source can be array stream will not change original data structure of the source stream will just process that can you please read it what is the stream api and why stream api introduced in java 1.8 version stream api introduced in java 1.8 version stream api is used to process the data collections are used to store the data stream api is one of the major features added in java 1.8 version stream in java can be defined as sequence of elements that comes from a source source of data for the stream can be array or collection so we need to remember few points about the stream stream is not a data structure stream means bunch of operations applied on source data source can be a collection or source can be a array stream will not change original data structure of the source it will just process the data given by the source it will just process the data given by the source could you please read these two guys are you able to understand what is the stream and why that stream came into picture are you guys able to understand what is the stream and why this stream came into picture
come on guys understood na good perfect now let's start related to streams discussion how to create a stream how to create a stream in java we can create the stream in two ways how to create the stream so let's understand stream creation stream creation stream is used to process the data stream is not going to change the original data structure stream will take the data from a array or stream will take the data from the collection it will process how to create the stream in java we can create stream in two ways in java we can create stream in two ways what are those two ways one is by using one is by using stream dot off method okay element 1 comma element 2 comma element 3 comma element 4 etc like this you can create the stream by using off method stream of given values like that we can create the stream and the second one you can create the stream by using stream method so here data can be available in the array or data can be available in the collection or we can directly create the stream with the data if you have the data already then you can use stream method to create a stream and we can process that if you want to create a stream with a given data then there is the option called stream dot off in java we can create the stream in two ways stream dot off or we can create it by using stream method we can create it by using stream method let me take one example i'm taking one java class and i will show you how to create a stream stream can be created in two ways one is by using off method second one is by using stream stream method yeah let me open my ide what happened to this yeah it opened Let me create a new package for this classes. New package in dot Ashoka ID dot streams. Yeah. Here I'm creating one class first demo. A main method. Now I want to create a stream. I want to create a stream, right? So stream Java dot util dot stream stream of integer stream of integer stream one is equal to stream dot of values. Okay, you can pass values one comma two comma three comma four comma five like this. I can create a stream by using stream dot of this is one stream similarly i can create a stream by using stream method for example i'm having one class called array list class array list of string some names is equal to new array list i have a collection class called array list class inside this array list class some names are available names dot add of some name right names dot add of some value right names dot add of value now here i have a collection from this collection i want to create the stream for that we can use names dot stream which is going to give me a stream object stream 2 so here i created stream 1 here i created stream 2 First stream I created by using off method. Second stream I created by using stream method. Okay, so this is approach one to create the stream object. And this is approach two to create the stream object. Now, I have a stream with the data. 
collection is available with the data collections are used to store the data collections are used to store the data streams are used to process the data okay so you understand how to create the stream guys are you able to understand how to create the stream now how many ways are there to create the stream now how many ways are there to create the stream now there are two ways available to create the stream what are the two ways one is by using off method second one is by using stream method you can create the stream by using off method you can create the stream by using stream method there are two ways so guys can you please respond what is the purpose of stream why java language introduced the stream why java language introduced the stream can you guys tell me streams are used to store group of objects huh? streams are used to store group of objects huh? then what is the difference between collections and streams what is the difference between collections and streams guys is there any difference or both are same is there any difference between collections and streams or both are used for same purpose collections are used to store the data stream is used to process the data by using stream we can perform some operations on the data now for example here i have a collection with some names print the names which are starting with the character j okay there are some values available in the stream and i want to print the numbers which are even numbers so these are collection of numbers array of elements available from this collection i want to print the numbers which are even i want to print the names which are starting with the character a i want to print the employees which are having salary greater than one lakh like that n number of operations we need to perform on the data so to process the data in the 1.8 version stream api got introduced stream api is one of the biggest change happened in the java 1.8 version we can create the stream in two ways one is by using off method second one is by using stream is not a data structure stream means bunch of operations applied on the data stream will not change the original data structure of the source source this is the given data given by source stream is not a data structure stream means bunch of operations applied on source of data source can be collection or source can be array stream will not change the original data structure it will just process the given by the source it will just process the data given by the source we are able to create the stream and we are able to create the stream by using stream method perfect now operations on the stream so here after creating the stream we need to perform operations on the stream right here data is available in the second stream in the second stream there is some second stream is representing one collection first stream is representing some values we need to perform operations on the stream stream operations 
stream operations. By using this stream, what operations can be performed on the data? Okay, stream API provided several methods to perform the operations. Got my point? Stream API provided several methods to perform operations on the data. The main aim of the stream is used to perform the operations only. In order to perform the operations in the stream API, there are several methods are available. Stream API provided several methods to perform operations on the data. The methods of the stream API are divided into two types. We can divide, we can divide stream API methods into two types. There are n number of methods. Several methods are available in the stream API to perform the operations. First, we need to create the stream. By using that stream, we can perform some operations on the data. To perform operations on the data, stream API provided several methods. We can divide stream API methods into two types. One is intermediate operation methods and the second one is terminal operations methods. What are those two types guys? First one is intermediate operational methods intermediate operational methods and the second one is terminal operational methods in the interview also they will ask you what kind of operations we can perform on the stream on the stream we can perform two types of operations first one is intermediate operations and the second one is terminal operations stream api provided several methods to perform operations on the data we can divide stream api methods into two types first one is intermediate operational methods and the second one is terminal operations methods sir what is the difference between this intermediate operation methods and terminal operations methods intermediate operation methods will not provide any result they will actually accept the functional interfaces parameters and always returns a new stream okay guys intermediate operations will do operation and they will return a new stream intermediate operations will perform the operations on the stream of data and always will return a new stream always will return a new stream intermediate operational methods intermediate operational methods will perform operations on the stream operations on the stream and all and returns and returns a new stream right so whenever you perform some intermediate operation on the stream that intermediate operational methods available i have a stream of data i want to perform operations on the data the stream operations are classified into categorized into two types first one is called intermediate operations second one is called terminal operations intermediate operational methods will perform operations on the stream and returns always a new stream what are the example for these operations so the example we'll see those methods filter method is available and map method is available these are some examples for intermediate operations on the stream filter the data so whenever you filter the data always it will do the filtering and will return a new stream and map the data it will perform the mapping and will return a new stream so the methods which will return the methods which will perform the operation and returns a new stream as a return value those methods are called as intermediate operational methods terminal operations means they will perform the operation they will produce the result but not the new stream okay terminal operation methods will take input and will produce the output directly terminal operational methods terminal operational methods will take input and will provide result as output will provide result as output so what is the difference between intermediate operations and terminal operations for example if i go for a method called count method if i go for a method called count method it will just take the data 
and how many elements are available it will just count and will give the result terminal operational methods will take input and will provide the result as output intermediate operational methods will perform operations on the stream and will returns a new stream can you guys Stream API provided several methods to perform operations on the data. We can perform those operations. We can perform. Perform those operations in two ways intermediate and a terminal intermediate operational methods will perform operations on the stream and returns a new stream. Terminal operational methods will take input and will provide result as output. Will take input and will provide result as output. Example count method. Okay, guys. Understand what kind of operations we can do on the streams? What kind of operations we can do on the stream? How many types of operations we can do on the stream? Two types of operations we can do on the stream intermediate operations and terminal operations. Perfect. Let's quickly revise what we discussed. Now we will jump into practicals programming part. We will see now. As of now, we understood theoretically what is a stream and why we need to go for stream, how to create a stream, what operations can be done by using stream. Theoretically, we understood. Now we have to understand practically. Okay. Understand, guys, just read the points. Streams are very, 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 very important. Without asking a question on the streams, your Java interview will not be completed. That much important it is. Even for experienced people also, even for experienced people also, stream API is important in the interview. Even for experienced people also, stream API is important in the interviews. Samja? Please read these points once. I love you reading. Yeah. Please revise the points. If you are strong in theory part theory part of the stream then i will make you strong in the programmatic part as well yeah few important points about the streams few important points about the streams please read it completed
stream creation in how many ways we can create the stream stream creation in two ways we can create the stream by using off method by using stream method this is my approach one and this is my approach two to create the stream once the stream is created we can do some operations on the stream to perform operations on the stream stream api provided several methods all the methods of the stream api can be divided into two types one is intermediate operation methods and the second one is terminal operational methods intermediate operational methods will perform operations on the stream and always returns a new stream intermediate operational methods will perform operations on the stream and returns a new stream then what about terminal operations terminal operational methods will take input and will provide result as output so these are the operations now guys can you write a logic <clears throat> can you get a right can you write the logic to print the numbers which are greater than 20 can you create a list of numbers and can you print the numbers which are greater than 20 can you write the logic by using normal java program can we write the logic by using normal java program taking a numbers and printing getting the numbers which are greater than 20 simple normal java program right suppose for example here i'm taking one stream here i'm taking some numbers some 66 comma some 32 some 45 some 12 some 20 i want you to get the numbers which are greater than 20 like this you need to take list of numbers and you need to write the logic to get the numbers which are greater than 20 normally how we will write the logic normally how we will write the logic how we will write the logic earlier earlier how we use it to write the logic arrays dot as list i'm going to create one list by using as list method it will give me list now i'm going to write for integer i of list system dot out dot if if i greater than 20 then system dot out dot print ln of i is this my logic or not is this the logic that we are going to do or not printing the numbers which are greater than 20 so there are two numbers available with three numbers available which are greater than 20 this is the regular style of coding that we are going to follow to filter the data i have list of numbers from those numbers i want to find out the numbers which are greater than 20 so this is our general logic that every programmer will write but people use it to write this kind of code up to 1.7 version of java but from 1.8 how this logic we are implementing let me comment this from 1.8 we are going to use the streams to process this data list dot stream already collection is available from the collection i'm going to create a stream from the collection i'm going to create a stream once the stream is created that stream can be stored into a variable that stream can be stored into a variable then stream dot filter what is the parameter for the filter guys can you see the parameter for the filter predicate do you know what is a predicate do you know what is a predicate predicate will take one input will return one boolean value as a output so similarly filter method is available will take a input 
i and i greater than 20 i am giving i greater than 20 i'm calling filter i'm calling filter method okay i got the another stream so filter here i have a collection with the collection i'm creating a stream from the stream i'm calling a filter filter comes under which operation intermediate operation so what happened whatever the data we have given to the stream it is doing a filter on the stream i lambda with i greater than 20 whenever you do the filter on the stream with the filtered data one more stream it has returned then filter dot for each for each method is taking consumer for each method is taking consumer system dot out dot print ln of that i system dot out dot print ln of i now see here i'm able to get the data so this is the logic that we used to write earlier but now this is the logic we are going to write arrays dot as list i'm taking list of numbers from these numbers i want to get the numbers which are greater than 20 i'm writing a for each loop i'm getting the each element from the list i'm checking if the value is greater than 20 then i'm printing that value this is a legacy approach what is the latest approach the latest approach is we need to process the data collection of data is available collection of values available from those values, I want to get the values which are greater than 20. I'm going to create list dot stream. With that, my stream is created. From the stream, I'm creating a filter. Filter is an intermediate operation. Filter will always return new stream. Once I get the new stream to process that stream data, I'm using for each method. By using for each, I'm printing. This is one lambda and this is one lambda. Here it is taking input, it is giving boolean value as output. So filter method is taking predicate as a parameter. For each method taking input, not returning anything. For each method taking consumer as a input. So this will do. Whatever we are doing this for each method, same logic can be done by using stream also. Sir, here also there are several lines of code available. Here also several lines of code is available. What is the benefit? Now we can simplify this code. Let me comment this code now. Let me comment this code now. We can simplify that logic into single line, guys. We can simplify that logic into single line. See here, list dot stream, stream. That is going to whenever I call list dot stream, it is returning a stream object. On the stream object, I'm calling a filter. That filter I can call directly here. Filter for the filter. I am going to pass predicate, give each number as an input and check that number is greater than 20 or not. Yes. So whenever I call this filter, again, it is going to return the stream only. First time when I call the stream method on the collection list dot stream, when I call the list dot stream, it is returning a new stream object on the stream object. I'm calling the filter. So directly I'm calling the filter on the stream list dot stream will give you a stream stream dot filter i'm giving a predicate each value i'm giving as input it will check the condition will return the true or false on that stream again whenever i call the filter method again it will give you a stream on that stream i am calling the for each method directly i will call the for each method here when i call that for each method here i'm going to pass i value and system dot out dot print ln of i okay with a single line we are able to complete our task yes i'm able to get the numbers see earlier we used to write the for each method to print the numbers which are greater than 20 same logic same filtering logic i'm able to do by using stream how many lines of code i am writing are we able to complete the task with a single line are we able to complete the task with a single line yes or no now you understand the power of lambdas and stream api yeah so here stream is changing original collection is my stream changing the original collection which i am giving 
or stream is taking the data from the collection. and just to processing that data stream is taking the data from the collection and processing the data is the stream is going to change original data structure no collections are used to store the data stream is used to process the data are you compare this logic this logic this logic in three ways i have implemented this logic guys last two ways are same but more optimization i have done on the code observe the first approach that we used to follow and now from java 1.8 how we are going to write that logic Are you clear with my point? Can I write the last line once again? Yeah. Are you able to understand this line, this logic? Are you able to understand this logic? If you understand this logic, then the last single line of code is very easy to understand. Now my task is simple. I have list of numbers. From the list of numbers, I want to get the numbers which are greater than 20. That is my simple requirement. In general, how we will do that logic implementation? In general, how we will do that logic implementation? First, we are going to take a for each loop. We will traverse this collection. We will get each element from the collection. We will check that each element is greater than 20 or not. If any element which is greater than 20, then we are going to print that line. That is legacy. Legacy means old old style of writing the java program now what is the latest style in the java lambdas whatever the task you want to do you can do it by using lambda lambda expressions introduced and we have stream api stream api is used to process the data how to process the data by using stream first we need to create the stream stream can be created in two ways one is by using off method Second one is by using stream method. Here I created one stream by using a collection. Arrays dot as list. I have given the list of elements. To create one array list. My array list is created. Once that array list is created, from that array list, I'm creating a stream, list.stream. When I call, now see once again, I'm going to write the logic. I have a array list class, list object. From the list, I want to create the stream. To create a stream from the list, 